Hey, took you long enough, newbie. Didn't think you would actually go somewhere now, did ya? This here is a cave. Exciting stuff, I know. Listen, the monster girl you'll be hunting is deeper inside, though that doesn't mean you should drop your guard anytime soon. You're going to be dealing with the slime today. Nothing too fancy, just the simple blue ones will do. Well, the succubi give you a challenge. Slimes are difficult in the fact that they are numerous. You rookies will take on quest after quest of slime subjugation to the point where being sticky is commonplace. You can find them anywhere, but this cave is mainly used by the Monster Girl Hunting Association, or MGHA for short. That's where you get most of your quests. Now let's get going. I only have this cave for a scheduled time to train you. Keep your words about you. I'm going to explain the nature of the slime here. Soon enough, you'll find my explanations commonplace. Now where was I? Right. The livelihood of slimes. Slimes are a semi-solid life form. Their habitats are various, including plains, grasslands, and caves. Their natures are simple and honest. Their diet, however, consists of semen, sweat, and the saliva of human men. The slime is a semi-solid monster that dwells in large numbers on grasslands and plains. Typically, near towns, though they can occasionally be found in other regions. Most especially because they often wander about in search of human men. They are capable of expanding and contracting their blue, semi-solid bodies at will to assume a variety of shapes and are intelligent enough to speak, though their thoughts are simple. When a slime discovers a man, she stretches out her fluid body, entangling his with hers to keep him from moving. She extracts his semen and other bodily fluids in a manner uncannily reminiscent of sexual intercourse. A slime's body is capable of milking the semen from a man under almost any condition, enveloping his body with a liquid pleasure while she does. As a slime stores the essence she gathers, surplus nourishment not needed to form her womanly body pools at her feet. When this surplus accumulates to a certain point, it splits off, forming a new slime that looks just like the original. This clone can only think of adjusting nourishment and immediately joins in the feast. She will remain with her sister until she is comfortable enough to set out on her own and seek her own prey. The simple structure of slimes makes them highly adaptable, but also sensitive, and thus quite susceptible to mana and their environments. Changes resulting from these factors have led to the birth of a number of variants, including the high order red slimes, the hypertrophic mutation known as the queen slime, the bubble slime, which is strongly influenced by her habitat, and the dark slime. It is said that factors such as long-term mating with a single human man or a change of habitat can change a slime to another monster in the slime family. Make sense? Good. There you have it. Not too hard to deal with, they're just hard to grab. Yeah, it's boring to deal with the weaker monsters, but you gotta harden your body for what lies in your future. Anyway, find a blue slime in this cave, subjugate it, and report back to the outside of this cave. I'll be, I'll be napping, napping at the entrance. And uh, if you find a queen slime, slime, run for your life. You aren't you equipped to deal with those yet. yet. And one just so happens to live in here. Good luck, and don't become a pile of bones in this cave, like the other unfortunate rookies.